What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Poltergeist, Terrifier 3, Alien, Strangers, Chapter 2, and Salem's Lot. Now starting off here with Poltergeist, the Poltergeist television series that's in development at Amazon MGM Studios has taken a step forward, according to Variety, who put out this report yesterday. Variety has learned exclusively that Kalinda Vasquez and Robbie Thompson have boarded the project as writers, showrunners, and executive producers. This series was previously reported to be in early development in October of 2023. Exact plot details are under wraps, aside from the fact that this show is inspired by the iconic 1982 horror film. Now, I can only say that as someone who is a fan of that trilogy, I am very eager to see if this show that is in early development actually becomes a episodic sequel to Poltergeist, Poltergeist 3 with a grown up Carol Ann. Rest in peace, Heather O'Rourke, because that's that's obviously who I would prefer to see. But rest in peace to Heather O'Rourke. I would love to see a grown up Carol Ann with some children, if you will, if you need to throw that in there, get formulaic and let us experience a grown-up Carol Ann with kids and maybe the preacher Kane is after her one more time in her adulthood and not only just her something about her children is what sparked his return because Tangina as we know if you saw the third one seemingly ended that nightmare for Carol Ann but now the nightmare is back so I would love to see it be a sequel to Poltergeist 3 in some capacity rather than it just being a completely whole new thing. Now, if it's its own new thing, that's fine, but I would love to see something that is an episodic sequel to the film series that ended in the late 80s. Something that can pay tribute to Heather O'Rourke, something that is a quality, of course, and just stand on its own even. So, we'll see what comes of this show. The second thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Terrifier 3. According to Damien Leone, we are getting a trailer and a poster for Terrifier 3 this month. Now, this is after Brad Miska from Bloody Disgusting suggested something next month, that something next month was coming sometime, implying that it would be September we would get a trailer. But Leone is pointing towards August, which of course is this month. So with the Terrifier producers having stream released in theaters this week, is it possible that stream will show the full flesh trailer for Terrifier 3? We'll have to wait and see. Now, of course, if you're going to see stream tomorrow, do reach out and let me know if you saw anything for Terrifier 3 prior to it. If you've been following my Terrifier 3 reports on Twitter, then you probably know about this character, Eddie, I've talked about. Someone who was expected to get into a bar fight with Art. Bradley Stryker is reportedly playing this character. So that confirms that scoop for now doesn't necessarily confirm the bar fight part but we at least have confirmation on the fact that eddie is a legitimate character and again there's supposed to be some sort of bar fight that he gets into with art the clown during this film now we're going to talk about alien fetty alvarez made comments about alien versus predator 3 possibly happening to deadline he said maybe it's something i have to co-direct with my buddy dan dan trackenberg who directed prey Alien Romulus director Freddy Alvarez suggested the deadline, referring to Prey director Dan Trachtenberg. He said, maybe we should do like Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez did with Dust Till Dawn. I'll direct a half and he'll direct another half. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad, given that they are proven directors. But I can tell you, I prefer these characters just stay far apart for now. Just stay far apart. I have foggy memories of the crossover movies since it's been years since I've watched them. I don't remember them being particularly good. But I do recall having to turn up the brightness on my TV a bit <laughs> several times when watching it. That's the only thing I can remember right now of Alien vs. Predator because it's been that long. But would you be down for an Alien vs. Predator 3? I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be. I would not be. Not because I think I would have to turn the brightness up on my TV, but also because I just don't remember those movies being that strong. And with the IPs and characters seemingly being revived in somewhat adequate fashion right now, I would rather see them be built up separately. And then if that opportunity crosses paths, then that's fine. We can entertain it then. Now I want to talk about The Strangers. The Strangers Chapter 2, which was supposed to be out later this year, maybe is not going to be making its release date, especially considering we haven't seen any marketing for it. Is Tamara Home put out a report going over how The Strangers Chapter 2 seems to be delayed? Kismet Movies, apparently, who was the official distributor of The Strangers film in Australia and New Zealand, according to this report, again, from It's Tamara Home. I will leave a link to this in the description. 
They put out a post recently on their Instagram about a or to celebrate the birthday of Madeline Pesh. And attached to that was the sentence, The Strangers Chapter 2 in Australia and New Zealand Cinemas 2025. Now, see, some people would go, oh, well, that's just Australia. But here's the problem. Australia and the U.S. had similar release dates for Chapter 1. They were like days apart. So this would indicate that if that's what happened for Chapter 1, it would seem Chapter 2 is not only going to be in Australia in 2025, but it's also going to be in the U.S. as well. So that seems to indicate Chapter 2 will not be making its fall release date, which is fine because we know we've, they've been going through reshoots and stuff like that. But we'll probably get an official announcement on this sooner rather than later to let us know that The Strangers Chapter 2 is not coming to theaters this fall as previously reported. They have not done any marketing for Chapter 2 to make it to a fall release date. Not that they couldn't do something last minute. It's just why bother? You haven't told us anything about Chapter 2 coming out in the fall since the initial report. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Salem's Lot. Salem's Lot finally has a release month. I don't think it has a date. I just saw a month. Now, it's coming to Max this October. After this has been shifted around for years and then it went AWOL, Stephen King at one point praised it online. But as you see, we have our first look images coming across the screen. In Salem's Lot 2024, haunted by an incident from his childhood, author Ben Mears returns to his hometown of Jerusalem's Lot in search of inspiration for his next book, only to discover the town is being preyed upon by a bloodthirsty vampire and his loyal servants. I've heard that this film is really good by multiple people who attended the test screenings. I can only speak for them. I did not gauge what the overall test screening experience was. I can't recall if there were reports about bad test screenings, but I know that the people who I have talked to who have seen it, they have had nothing but praise for this film. So hopefully when I and you guys finally get to sit down and watch this when it releases in October on Max, hopefully it is something that is of quality. I haven't recently revisited Salem's Lot since I was probably 11 years old, and I remember it vividly because of what I did the following day. I won't share that here, but I haven't seen Salem's Lot in quite a while, in over a decade, so I will revisit that first film, that first project, before I tackle this new film coming out later this year on Max. If you saw the thumbnail, then you already know by now that I lied, and the last thing we're going to talk about is going to be Leprechaun. So, Warwick Davis was at Comic-Con Wales, where he was asked about what he sees ahead of him going forward. Someone shouted a Leprechaun remake, and then he made like a comment in response that they're all coming out of the woodwork at this point, I guess referencing the amount of movies we've gotten lately without him. Because I think so far, what have there been? Two? Maybe three? No, there's only been two. So he said he get he gets asked to do them from time to time, but at the moment he's saying no. Now, when he's saying at the moment he's saying no, I think this corroborates the initial report that came out when we had first learned that a new movie, because again, a new movie is on the way, but the report did mention he is not expected to return. And now seeing him on camera, basically saying the same thing, he's sticking to his guns. He doesn't seem like he's gonna be a part of this upcoming film. So it just seems like he's put the leprechaun behind him. At the time, previously years ago, it was related to his son and raising his children. Now it just seems like he just doesn't want anything to do with it altogether. He's content with Leprechaun Back to the Hood being the bow out, as am I. If we get him again, that would be great. That's what I would prefer. If we don't, you just have to find someone who can do a quality job. And many would argue you did that with Leprechaun Returns. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.